Culver City High School students complaining about the state of their school. They say the building is falling apart and they want something done about it. One of the students sharing photos with us of some of the disrepair, raising concerns about violence and other problems at her school. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda with more. Imagine you go to school and this is what you encounter. Tiles falling from the ceiling, cracked walkways, and more. At Culver City High School, this is what students say they have to deal with. If you go to school, you shouldn't feel like your safety is a big issue. You should feel safe. You should feel welcome. Haley Gomberg says she knows the risk of going public with all of this, but she feels she had to. We think that there could be asbestos as the school was built in the 50s, and they found asbestos in our auditorium when they had to tear it down and rebuild it and remodel it. And she says these old staircases are a problem for those with disabilities. I've seen a student with a walker trying to go up these staircases that have no other entrance aside from staircases. And it's, it's really disheartening to watch. This inspection report by the county health department from just a month ago found a number of these issues. Among the violations, it mentions the damaged and missing ceiling tiles, as well as cockroaches and vermin at the school. I have lots of classrooms with rats, and for the cheerleaders, because I'm a cheerleader, the roaches kind of just like live in our cheer mats, and it's super gross. But some say it's not entirely the school's fault. Some of the uh, students are often doing um, trends on TikTok tossing, um, like throwing things up at the ceiling for them to uh, come down. And some people we spoke with also complain about overcrowding here at the school. They say they've gone to the district with these concerns, but they feel they're being ignored. They said, oh, we'll get back to you, and they never do. We reached out to the district for a comment about all of this, but so far, no one has gotten back to us. In Culver City, I'm Carlos Granda, ABC7 Eyewitness News.